What's going on YouTube? So here I downloaded the Atari 2600 emulator. I plan to... Uh, this is the Atari 2600 emulator for the uh, original Xbox. So over here I FTP'd into my um, Xbox. These are the uh, drive letters here. So you can see um, the G drive is where I typically dump my emulators. There's an emulator folder in there. Emulators are in there with the uh, ROMs, however, the G drive is full, so I had to make an edit to the uh, config file over here, and uh, where is it? Over here, I added a F drive and an E drive, just in case I plan to add um, future uh, emulators to the uh, system. So in this case, I made the F drive. So if I go to F drive, let me go here, go to emulators. Now there's an emulator folder in there, it's empty. So we're going to drag from one side of the screen the Atari emulator over here, drop it in there. Let it copy over, hopefully it's quick. I put uh, two emulators in there just to test it out and make sure it works. Alright, so it's done. The folder's in there. Now, we're gonna go to the Xbox over here. Mm -mm. Let's see. Mm, how do I get out of here? Oops. Just trying to get back out of here. Back, okay. Alright. We're going to go to my emulators folder. See if we can find the Atari. Mm, not seeing it. I need to restart the unit. Let me see. Come on. Alright, let's go back. Emulators. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, so I needed to restart it. Let's select that. It's huh. pretty cool. Nice intro. The Atari 2600 port of a uh, Miss Pac Man running on an original Xbox. So that's all you have to do to uh, load up the uh, emulators and the ROMs. Uh, over here, I have the uh, computer wired up to the same router which is down here and the Xbox is currently wired into there as well so on one side of the computer I FTP into the Xbox on the other side I have all my files that's my Atari 2600 emulator folder that's the, uh, the actual component that triggers the, um, the emulator and in this A26 ROMs folder 
that's where I have my uh, ROMs for now, and these are all the other ROMs, which I just have to go through there and pick the ones that I want, because some of these ROMs are repeated numerous times with uh, different versions of the, um, the actual game, so I just have to go through there and filter out, um, put in there only the ones that I want.